Good morning, I'm Tula and I would like to talk about the, these two Da Vinci Cosaneo dagger brushes. They are the same kind, just different sizes. The smaller one is a number 10 and the larger one is a 14. And the line is the 5597. I just got them a few days ago. So this is not a comprehensive review, it's just my uh, initial impressions of them. I, before purchasing them, I was looking online and on YouTube, of course, for information and demonstrations, and I couldn't really find any. There are a few videos about um, the Casaneo line, of course, but really few about the daggers, so I wanted to show them to you. I usually paint very small, but for some reason I'm really fascinated with the number 14, the larger one. Okay, before we start trying brush strokes, I want to show you how it looks in the water, and I really hope this will be in focus. This is upside down. Okay, look at this. I hope looking will convey the feeling. I find this movement extremely <laughs> satisfying for some reason. I don't have it with other brushes, but it's soft but it's not weak. It's got a wonderful elasticity to it. I'm just caressing the rim. This is incredible. These brushes are synthetics. The whole Casaneo line is um, imitation of Kazan Squill. I never tried a real Kazan Squill. I never even met a real Kazan Squill, so I can't tell you anything about that. It's got a nice point to it when wet. And this is the smaller one. And the feeling is the same, I guess, because the hairs are shorter because it's a smaller brush. It doesn't feel as satisfying as the larger one. And from what I find so far, mm, the width of the smaller one is feels a little too too wide, not not thin enough for my liking. Okay, let's see them in action. Enough swirling. Okay, this is um. Hanemule Britannia paper. It's um, cellulose cold pressed. Let's see how they perform. I'll start with the larger one. I'm wondering how to prepare my setup so you can see everything. Let's get this here. Out a bit, maybe. Okay. I'll try dipping in a few colors. Let's try getting a bit of the yellow, which is Indian yellow, which is a mixture, and this is a rose. And let's see what we get from that. Okay, this is a good demonstration because what I'm finding so far is that I have to be really careful of how much I push the brush down and how carefully I lift it. So I need, in order not to get this sort of puddle in the middle, I need to be much more careful.
and I can flip it this way dip again and I'll get some more thick paint at the top I even managed to make a circle with it look you see the shape, how it's rounded according to my movement. I like that. I can also get nice, um, if I put it with the belly side down and the longer, um, the longer part facing me, I can get up very elongated leaf shapes. The other way around didn't work as well for me. Let's fix the tip. Okay, now the long part is facing the paper and the belly is facing me. Let's try um, curling leaf. I'll go this way because I'm more comfortable going this way. I'm left-handed. Mm. Right. I still get the fat. The I get. Um, too much liquid coming down in the middle between the pushing and the lifting. Let's try the other way. I really like it. If I um can get nice rounded um, bow shapes, fatter bow shapes by pressing down more, lifting, okay I'm skipping a little bit. Um can try to show you what sort of um, line it makes. Not very thin. Let's go this way. And of course the side gives me a lot more color. Oh, it's lovely, it just feels so nice in my hand. The contact with the paper is nice. Mm, what are the shapes can I show you? Let's try dry brushing. Maybe make a branch. to the tip. I 
Ah, oh, yeah, I want. I know what I wanted to show you. And this I made with the belly out. I can try to make one with the belly in. these guys belly in so what do I think about it I like it a lot I like it a whole lot See if I have another bit of paper and I'll show you the number 10. Okay, let's try the, the number 10. Okay. Again, I'll have the I'll have the ochre in the belly. And the blue at the tip. You see how wide it looks compared to this one? This is the belly side facing us. And it's like... really hope you can tell. It's got like... It's as if somebody came with a knife and cut the side so it has sort of a straight edge. It doesn't get as, as close together as, as this one. I don't know, it's different somehow. Okay, let's try a brush stroke with it. Too much water. Get rid of a bit of the water. Fix the edge. Okay, I switched over to um, the Indian yellow. Okay, um, there's four straight lines with it. Ooh. If I'm just touching the tip I get finer lines. Mm, belly side down, pushing and pulling up. Sideways. The other side. I think I got some red in here. Um, let's try curling leaf. Okay. 
So I hope you can see the potential. Now let's try what we did before, oh, creating a leaf with, um, with two strokes and I'll try to get color difference. Okay, I've got um, quite thick turquoise in the tip and the yellow oil tone in the belly and let's try it with the um, long part in and let's try one with the um, long part out So would I buy more of these, uh, these kind of brushes? I think so. I like them. And let's uh, show you how this one acts. Sideways. Since this is um, since this is cellulose paper, the color separation is more obvious. If you would be working on cotton, these sort of things wouldn't happen, and probably a lot of it is um, that I still don't have good control of the brush. I think that's all I needed to show you. It's a very nice brush, there's a um, nice softness to it that is not too much and not too little. And it's, um, it feels really nice in my hand. It has nice fine tips as you can see, it can give you a um, really nice curling leaves and that's it. I hope this is helpful. I hope it helps your decision whether to get these brushes or not. I would love to hear your thoughts on them and thank you for being with me. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.